Welcome to a new episode of The Squeak Show by Tony Parker. I'm super excited today. We're going to talk to one of the greatest basketball minds in the NBA today, Masai Ujri. I'm super excited and he accepted in Paris, of course. Masai, oh. how are you doing? Thank you very much for doing this. What's up, brother? Thank you. Thank you. Hey, very good? good to see you. Good to see you, man. Uh, yeah, we, have to, we have to deal with my colors. Salut, 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 salut. Uh, I'm super excited. This is awesome. Super excited today yeah, because uh, we don't have a chance to talk to, to James a lot. You know, mm -hmm. usually we do uh, players. Yes. And I wanted to do something different, you know, in our show and uh, try to explain for a uh, younger generation mm -hmm. that, uh, yes, you want to become a basketball player, yes. but you have a lot of other opportunities that you can do in yeah. the NBA. So my first question is very easy. How do you become a GM yeah, <laughs> for people who it, don't know? It's a big question. There are many people that do it. And first of all, they're doing an incredible job. This is incredible. Thank you. I think, you know, um, seeing basketball after you've played and how you look at it, I've followed it and it's, 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 really, it's really inspiring. So thank you guys for, um, for having me. Honestly, becoming a GM, I started as a scout, you mm -hmm. know, like traveling, you know, like um, the world right after you guys, it's, you, it's probably Boris Diaw and um, all the other guys, you know, like mm -hmm. watching. And So what was your first team? You started as a, a scout? Yes. Who you were working for? I, at the time, I was an unpaid scout. Yeah. You, yes. Oh, wow. Yes. You, paid, you paid every single. Yes. And, and I, I traveled. Oh, I did and, not know that. Yes. Yeah. Also, you paid from your own pocket. For, for the Orlando Magic for one year. Oh, wow. Yes, it's a wow. real lesson for people, you know, like because sometimes you have to like sacrifice. And I always say you have to show more passion than ambition. So when I even started, you know, like my mind was just learning, you know, how do I learn the game? But look at where the game is now, it's global. Look mm -hmm. at what we're doing here. And I learned, you know, like, um, to watch the Petris brothers, yes. you know, like mm -hmm. to watch Johan Petro here. Mm -hmm. So I spent a lot of time actually like here, the Boris Diaw at the time. Uh, and then in Serbia, there are all those players too coming, Darko, all those guys coming out of. Uh, and then around the world, you know, South America, and then it expands your mind. And then when you learn like that, you start to promote, oh, I saw Tony Parker and he's so good. And you don't really think of the American players because you always focus on the guys you are seeing because mm -hmm. I was an international scout. Mm -hmm. And so I started learning the American game too because mm -hmm. I was living there. And I really learned high school, college, and the pros. And now you can compare. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because my example in Orlando then was I was pushing Barbosa. Yeah, because he was one of the players in the draft. Barbosa is so good, blah, blah, blah. But there were other great guys in the States that were in that draft, you know, like, but I did not know them mm -hmm. as much. Okay. So you can, you have to be able to compare. To compare, yeah. Yes. And, and so that's how I continue to grow, learn the business side of the game, you know, like learn the whole dynamic, but actually show the passion to learn it. And then you get promoted and you get opportunities. And I went to Denver. Mm -hmm. um, became director of global scouting and I came back to um, Toronto, worked for Brian Colangelo as mm -hmm. assistant GM. Mm -hmm. Remember Brian? Yeah, of course. Yes. Of course. And uh, Brian actually introduced me to your dad, you uh, know, like for uh, the first really? time, yes, traveling <laughs> with him, small world, right? <laughs> yes. And then um, became uh, GM in, in, uh, in Denver, you know, and what an incredible experience at the time. And then uh, back to Toronto again in 2003 as president and now you know like um here we find ourselves still there vice chairman and president it's it's an unbelievable I journey love, i love those nice kind journey. of stories yeah. i love those kind of stories unbelievable journey yeah um when when did you when did you think that the mba changed meaning like okay i can trust a european player to be my franchise guy when did you think that that turnaround that that shift you know because for a long time like me, when I started basketball, I wanted to show my dad that you, French you, people you started, can play. You changed the mind. Yes. I was I, a I, part of the beginning, you know, with Pau and I Dirk. Was going to, I was going to say that <laughs> you and Dirk changed, you know, mm -hmm. like I think um, everything. We saw, you know, like 
the struggles of both of you, mm -hmm. you know, like in the beginning, the beginning yes, yeah. and, and things that you had to overcome that in the past, European players hadn't quite like overcome that, mm -hmm. which was, you know, like getting past the coaching, getting past, you know, like all every other thing, the pressures of America, mm -hmm. you know, like the passion there is different. different yeah, yeah mm -hmm. like yeah, to bring sure. up the, mm -hmm. the, the, and even the environment, the style of game, in, you know, too. And we look at your game and how it's aged, you know, like, and now like the floaters is what everybody wants, you mm -hmm. know, like those, mm -hmm. those things are very underrated, you know, like, and now we started to realize, you know, like that if it can be done, you did it at the highest level. Now, how can we start to really, it's, it's difficult to find another Tony Parker, let's be real, to find another Dirk. They are, it's not the easiest thing, you know, like to find. Yeah, so, but the other players that can come and compliment, you know, like now they're a lot more. I think they're more than 100, how many, you know, yeah. like international, international players, players in the yeah. NBA. It yeah. wasn't like that before. Mm -hmm. So you, Dirk, Manu Ginobili, you guys opened really like that mindset, even for us as scouts and, um, and player personnel in the NBA. Yeah, it's amazing the, the way that the, the game grew, you know, mm -hmm. uh, like when you look at the NBA games and you see like like the, the growth and uh, like me, it makes me very proud when I see that now we have 14 French guys, you know, in the yes. NBA, yes. Uh, the most European country represented, you know, in the league and, yeah. and the atmosphere and the connection you know, between France and the NBA when they started with the dream team all the way to here. Did you ever thought that one day when I, when I started playing, I never thought that one day you can look at the top five players and it's, it's not an American. It's you have Luca, you have uh, Giannis, Shai, uh, Jokic, and Joel yeah. Embiid. That's the top five guys right now for MVP uh, conversation. It's, it's crazy to me. Yeah, it's, 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 it's amazing. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's truly, truly amazing. And you think about it how you look at that way. Me, I look at it globally. But even think about it, an African. I grew up in Africa. I didn't mm. grow up in the States. You know, like, so up to when I was 19 years old. And so for me to see Joel Embiid, Mm. Pascal Siakam, mm. all these guys, you know, like come into the league now. I saw them in camps, okay, oh, in wow. Africa, sitting down in basketball without borders, okay? And now they come and they are impact players. Yeah, for me, uh, to have that experience of a championship and actually have Pascal Siakam, OG Ananobi, and Sergi Baka, who are African players, you know, like to have that kind of like impact, impact winning, not waving a towel. Yes. Yeah, not cheerleading, mm -hmm. you know, like you're yeah, actually like contributing. Mm -hmm. uh, honestly, like Tony, it goes, it, it goes way back, you know, like, and this is why Akim Olajuwon, you know, like Dikembe Mutombo, mm -hmm. Manut Ball, mm -hmm. it's the same thing you have built, you know, like that these other young kids are going to see and grow from this. It's paved the way. You have no idea, you know, like 10 years from now, yeah, doing this, you know, like it's, it's even going to be more fulfilling for you, you know, like for all of us, you know, like to see how it's going to go from 100 international players to even 200. You mentioned the top five. Can you imagine that in the MVP race? Ah, it's crazy. You know, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. And, and, I, and I think Africa, we, we only at the beginning. At the beginning. Like, I think we only at the beginning. It didn't even start yet. No, yeah. it didn't because yeah. we lack infrastructure on yeah, the continent. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, and once all this infrastructure starts to come, yeah. mm -hmm. I mean, you guys know firsthand, look at football. Yes. You know, yeah. like it's, exactly. yes, every team, every country, everywhere, it's all Africa. Af there's a lot of African players, you know, like, and basketball, I always say this, and I say it in a very respectful way, you know, like, and I want people to really understand this. In Africa, there's a lot, a hundred, hundreds of LeBrons walking around. Yes. But they've never touched the basketball. They've never. Some are 50 years old, some are 15 years old, some are 25 years old. That physique, the way they are, the way he is, I can guarantee you I can find 50 guys that look exactly like that. But they've never touched basketball because they've never gotten the opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there's no They're facilities. Exposed, yeah. They've yeah. never, there's, there's no place to play. Why football became big is 
Tony, as soon as we come out of our mom's stomach, me the same, I'm more talented in football than I am I was in basketball. Mm -hmm. It's because as soon as you come out, you can go outside and, pre and, and play. Yeah. And kick, and kick very the very and easy, kick. yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. it's very easy. Yeah. 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 In basketball, you need all of this, you know, like yeah. the first thing I thought when I saw this thing, I was like, man, I wish I can carry, put this, just take this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask Tony if I can just borrow this for like three months and go put, we need facilities. Yes. Yeah, sure. we, we, we really do, you know, like, and once that starts to come, we're working a lot of that, Amadou Fall, yeah. mm -hmm. you had mm -hmm. Yakim Noah, Yan, Yan Mahini, Mahini mm -hmm. doing incredible work, Luol mm -hmm. Deng, they're doing yes. so much work and I say again what Dikembe these guys have created for us you know like a pathway Akim Olajuwon you know like it's, it's 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 incredible we talked about that with Joachim uh, uh, yesterday like mm -hmm. we talked about like the national teams yes and some people were sad that Joel and B didn't play for Cameroon but mm -hmm. it, how long you think it's going to take for the infrastructure you know to to be ready mm -hmm. and for the national teams to be ready to have players like Embiid or Pascal Siakam because they're used to a, a certain standard, you know, with the hotels, traveling, all that kind of stuff. How long do you think it's going to take? It's it's a federation, you know, like every every country has their federation issues, mm -hmm. you know, like, and you think about like even Europe, they still, we still like grind through that. Mm -hmm. Think about it, how it is over there, you know, like it's still a grind, you know, like to get people uh, to see sports you know, like bigger than competition, you know, like sports is a business too, you know, like to be bigger minded uh, ab about it. I'm glad it's even growing even more. When you watch, when you watch the World Cup, this last World Cup, the, this is going to be the most anticipated Olympics in basketball ever. Yeah, yes, yeah. because everybody is coming. Yes. Yes. Everybody, especially, especially for Team USA. Everybody's yes, coming. Team USA is coming. You know, everything. like yeah. yeah, Serbia is coming. Everybody Canada. is coming. Canada is coming. Everybody is coming loaded. You know, like ready to play. And the World Cup was not quite like that before. Yeah. And now we're making it. That means the game is growing to me globally. Yeah. And Africa will catch up. You know, like with that, just like World Cup in football. Yes. yes, when Cameroon or Ghana or Nigeria or any Senegal or these countries play in the World Cup, Morocco, Egypt, everybody yes. watches now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, before everybody thought, oh, they're just gonna get beat. Yeah, everybody watches now and watches because they know that there's a chance that they will win. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Masai, let's talk about your job now. You have a, a connection with a French player because when you were GM at Denver, you drafted um, Evan Fournier. Yes. Uh, all the medias were against you. Why oh, you drive this guy? He cannot shoot. Yes. What, what can you tell us about the situation of Evan right now with the, the Knicks? He didn't play for it's been one year. He didn't play. Why the Knicks can't trade him? Mm -hmm. what's, go, what's going on with Evan's situation? Now? You know, uh, honestly, like that's the bad part of doing these kind of things is because I can't comment as much because it's another team's player. But, you know, like with Evan, I always tell the league and I always tell everybody, guys that I've had, you know, like I like my family almost, you know, like, yeah, so <laughs> um, a phenomenal player. You know, like, and sometimes we're just in like funny situations in the NBA, you know, like, and uh, uh, Tony, you know, you know, like you find yourselves in difficult positions, sure. right? Because you know, so like many players, so many players, exactly. you know, like right, not the right time. The timing is a little wrong, you know, like and all of that. But honestly, like um, you can see it like from both sides, you know, like but um, a player like this, honestly, I saw his development. Um, we drafted him in Denver, you know, like phenomenal mind, phenomenal player, you know, is like... Is it true uh, that when you drafted him, you wanted to stay in Europe for one more season and he came to you and said, no, I want to play right now? Yes, he, he was, he, he was, he, his mindset at that time, you know, like was incredible. For a young player, you know, like to have that kind of a mindset, he was, he was definitely a go-getter, you know, like he didn't... Um, we talked to uh, Bona and we said, hey, we're going to, you know, like, uh, I don't know, with George Carl and our team and where we were, you know, like we had just done the uh, Carmelo trade and, you know, uh, can we keep him here? And when I, I remember sitting down with uh, Evan and he was, I, I want to come and play. I want to play, you know, and he really um, 
um, he really he stuck it out, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm proud of him uh, for that. And now you almost see him as a veteran in the NBA. I look at him as like an 18-year-old <laughs> <laughs> still, you know. His situation reminds me a little bit like Boris, you know. Yeah. Boris Dia was stuck in Charlotte. He yeah. was not playing at all. Yeah. And then he bought, bought out this contract and came with us, with the Spurs. Yes. And basically... Nice. Uh, Launch his career again, you yes. know. I mean, with us, and he played great for three, four years. Yes. And that's why sometimes, you know, it's about opportunities Opportunity, and, yes. and and fit and stuff and like that. And being at the know? right place, yeah. right time, yeah, you know, sure. like the coach favors you, what the team is trying to do at the time, you know, like, and I've been in both, you know, like I've seen both, you know, like where you're like, wow, you know, like I wish it could work out like this. So, yeah, I don't. I wouldn't 100% blame a team, you know, like, because sometimes from the outside, that's how we see it, you know, like, but sometimes this, there's so many things that drive, you know, like how um, a team is run, you know, and uh, it's unfortunate that it has, the situation has to be like that. What do you think about the, the game of today and the way that it involved, you know, with a lot of threes and, and guys shooting from half court, like it's nothing, like, like, how, what do you think about all that? It's the new game, yeah. you know, like it's the new game and um, the game is going to evolve in many ways, you know, like and who knew it will come down to this, you know, like before if you didn't have those two big guys inside, yeah. you put know, like, yeah, post, yeah, 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 put the ball in the post, watch yeah. them, everybody stops, you know, like and watches them and, you know, um, it's, it's unique, you know, and, but I've always said when the unique, it's going to come back to bigger players again. Mm -hmm. Yes, because when you look at Giannis, Embiid, you look at how big Luca is, you know, like you look at Wemby now, mm -hmm. you know, like there's going to come a time when there's like four of them on the same team in the future, one day. Yeah. Yes, and how do they occupy space, that court space and space and it? Yeah. And how do they dominate? Because these guys now shoot threes and they might have to make this NBA court bigger, you know, because I'm telling you, it's going to come to a time like that. Now it's a little bit of a guards game, you know, like, and it's a skilled game, it's shooting, you know, but we've seen the game like evolve Change, in, yeah. in so many ways. Like Tony, how many players do we even think from before that will actually like be good players now in yeah. the NBA, but before, we, we didn't like guys that were tweeners, right? Oh, yeah, what's your yeah, position? Yeah, yeah. What's you know, his like, position? Yeah, yeah, why? Why? He doesn't have a no, position. No, no, nobody cares about the position. You, yeah, now nobody just go yeah. and play. Yeah. Yes, now nobody cares about the position. Yeah. And that time it was the most criticized thing. I remember I'll come into a meeting and I'll scout. First thing my bosses would say, he's a tweener. Where's he going to play? You know, like, how's, what's, what's he going to do in the NBA? I don't care, he, he's good. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, <laughs> I think. But at the time, you know, like, yeah, we were not all thinking that way. What is the first thing you look when you try to recruit somebody for your team? When you're building your team and you look at players, what is the first thing you're looking at? Yeah, I'm going to go tell the Spurs if I tell you. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I, I think, you know, first of all, you're yeah, attracted to physical ability, you know, like, and then you, you start to look at feet, you start to look at hands, you know, like you look at IQ, you look at a, a lot of it is like physical attributes, you know, like, and it's not necessarily like that you're jumping out of the yeah. gym, or, you know, like it's how you, now it's really how dynamic you are, you know, like on the, on the floor. But this now is, is, is one of the big things, you know, like how you read the game, how you see the game. It's such a difficult thing because how can you project what, Yes. An 18 year old or 19 year old is oh, going to how be. How is going to be his motor? Yes, motor, how yeah, is yeah. his motor is going to be. Mm -hmm. But how do we project somebody that's 19 years old mm -hmm. what he's going to be when he's 24? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a very, very difficult thing to do. You know, yeah. like sometimes, yeah, what your mom and dad gave you is what you're going to have. Sometimes influence, sometimes people, sometimes things mm -hmm. change a person, you know, mm -hmm. like, and sometimes. Um, adversity, sometimes something dynamic will happen to a human being and all of a sudden we say, man, he changed because of this or that. How do you project that when somebody is 18 years old? Uh, are you yeah. looking also the, the attitude, the way he act on the bench, the way he interact with the teammates? Yes. Are you looking everything? Yes. I, I remember um, 
Kyle Lowry and, and we came to the Euro League, uh, to Euro Camp in uh, Treviso. Yeah. Yes, and he, he um, uh, one time with Adidas, and I was sitting. And I kept on, instead of watching the game, I kept on looking at the bench, looking at the bench. And after the game, he said, Masai, you spend the whole time like looking at the bench. <laughs> what were you looking at the bench? And I was looking at like the attitude of, I remember him specifically saying that to me, and I say, I was look, and he says, I know what you were looking at. You were looking at how the guy was, Cheering. yes, was reacting in when he's sitting down on the bench or to the coach, or it, if it goes into the game and all of those things. You know, like now you start to go into character, mm -hmm. now you start to go into analytics, now you start to go into all the other things that maybe contribute. You know, like to what you are seeing, like this player is going to be. You just talked about it, analytics. Like, yes. like, do you like it? Like, or do you think people put too much uh, uh, into that? You know, because to me, like, it's good, but you can't control everything. At, at some point, you at know, the end, the human go back. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Like, uh, the I think motor, you, the character, and how you're going to handle the game. Yes, uh, you can't control that with analytics. Yes, the analytics doesn't doesn't show that. You know, mm -hmm. like, um, but it puts players in position, you know, mm -hmm. like what I've learned, it, it puts players in position to really like succeed. Yeah, you can also track history, you can track what trends are, you know, mm -hmm. like you can also project off of some numbers, you know, like um, uh, sometimes. So the analytics to me has really helped, you know, like me, but I do agree, you know, like that you can't make it the prime, you know, like focus on how you do that. But data has become something that honestly like is is very is very important in how like we do our jobs on you know like on all fronts um, as as a gm sometimes you have to make some outbreaking decision um, yeah. talk um, talk to us about the 2018 when you decide to split uh, kyle Lowry and um, and demar de rosan yes. it, it was a tough decision for you yes it's, it's one of the toughest things i've ever done you know, like in, in, in my life, you know, like Damar, unbelievable kid, you know, like um, I, I, I can't even, yeah, sometimes I can't imagine it. I always say the most difficult part, uh, Tony, in, in doing our jobs, the most difficult thing is trading a player and when a player leaves. It's the two things that are the most difficult thing in the, in the business. The most difficult, because imagine when, if you're Tony Parker is a free agent and then he decides that, you know what? I don't want to stay here anymore. I want to go somewhere else. Breaks the heart of the city, the team, and all of that. I've seen James Harden break the heart of the lot of, lot yeah. of the city. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then you trade a player. The organization is the one doing it, mm. you know, like, yeah, it's time that builds those relationships back, you know, like, and I'm glad me and Damar are okay, you know, like, but for a while, you know, like, it's, it's it really... Mad. It was mad? It, it's really hard. It takes yeah, time, yeah, no, it takes, it, take, it takes time. It took me two hours. I was in Kenya on the phone. It took me two hours to sum up the courage. And trust me, I'm not, I'm not the... I don't, yeah, I don't, fe I don't fear. Yeah. I don't fear anybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, like I'm not. I'm not one of those. You know, like I. I. I face. It took me two hours. It was 4 a.m. in the in the morning. I walked around the hotel. I, I was on a trip with President Obama to the um, to in Kenya. Walked around the hotel for two hours to sum up the courage to call to, to call him. Yeah, yeah. That's he, that's it's heavy. You know, like, and he's, yeah, that guy was never late, gave everything to the organization, you know, like his, um, his passion, you know, but um, we felt it was time, you know, like, and it was, we had to, I had to make a decision like this, but I'm telling you as, Crazy. yeah, it's, it's, it's not, it's not easy. Same thing with Dwayne Casey, you know, like letting Dwayne yeah. Casey not go at the same, it's the same He's season. A great guy too. Yeah, unbelievable. I always say three people my, my dad, my coach in Nigeria, uh, uh, Coach OBJ, that coached me since I was 12 years old, incredible man, uh, and Coach Casey. I see them as fatherly figures in my life. And imagine I have to walk. 
from my office to his office. The name is finished. After his 157 games, he's coach of the year. You know, like to tell him, you know, like I have to move in another direction. It's not, it's not something you go home and you sleep well. You know, like I don't care whether we won a ring. I don't care what you do. You know, like as human beings, those are two of the most unbelievable human beings I've ever been around. And I'm not saying it just to say it. Yeah. But, but it was a, a successful decision because you, you won the, the, you tell me the ring is nothing. Uh, you prefer the, the, the relationship, yeah. but you won a ring. And, and I was risky to, to, to bring Kawhi Leonard. After one, one year, I didn't play for the Spurs. Yes. Um, did you scare about um, make him come and okay, maybe he's not going to play? Yeah, this is why we are in these positions, you exactly. know? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you, have to, you have to make it, you know, like you have to put it. <laughs> I don't want to say that word, yeah, but yeah. you have to put your right, 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 right. can say it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to put it, you know, mm -hmm. like, and um, uh, honestly, humbly, I say, you know, that um, my staff team, Bobby, Teresa, Dan, um, even the scouts, Patrick, these guys, you know, um, they, they put you in a position, you know, like to make those decisions, you know, like, and it's information, it's, um, it's risk. That's why a leader, you know, like you, you have to, you have to take, uh, you have to take these chances. And we were, we were extremely lucky, you know, like I developed a, yeah, over the year, I developed an incredible relationship with Kawhi. You know, like, and, you know, it felt after a while, the team around him, you know, like getting Marc Gasol, yeah. having Serge Ibaka, mm -hmm. having Kyle Lowry too, you know, like. Danny Green? Yes, Danny Green. Those guys, you know, like they, they were veteran players too that knew how to, you know, like come and do their job at a high level. And high level. And, but, yeah. but you knew it was only one and done for Kawhi or you have expectation to him staying in I, I think you always think, it's, it's what people tell me too when I went to Denver, you know, like um, um, I remember, you know, talking to Carmelo, you know, like and I, in my mind when I got the job, I said I'm going to convince Carmelo to stay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? I have you always think you have a chance. You always for think sure. you have a chance, for you know, sure. like you have for relationships, sure. you know, like you know how it is, nah, it, sure. you know, like you... And you, you just feel you have a chance. You feel you're the one that can do it, you know, like, so um, I felt we had that relationship, you know, like we, I felt it was, it's great in the city, you know, like globally, I thought it was incredible, you know, like the, the platform um, for him. I could genuinely see that, uh, yeah, like even though Kawhi had like a wall a little bit, you know, like I can see genuinely that he actually like liked it. You know, like, so yes, I thought, thought we did, but a player wants to go home, you know, like, I'm the one that, I can't speak from both sides of my mouth, I'm the same one that traded DeMar, if Kyle Lowry, uh, if um, Kawhi Leonard or Fred Van Fleet decides to leave, you know, like, I can't, I can't sit here and say, you know, like, man, why, I, yeah, I but was still close, it's part of close. the business, yeah. of the business. Mm -hmm. we're, we're still very close, you know, like, and, um, with 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 all of them, you know, and well, I'm, I think I'm that's, lucky. That, that's good if you can save that. Uh, that's great. Yeah, uh, I had to make a tough decision too to let go of my brother, you know, two months ago, and that's like very tricky. Like you say, it took no, me a how while. Was you that? Know? Oh, that was very tough. Yeah. Right? It was very very tough. Yeah, yeah. Very, very to tough. You have to catch that's your why, brother. That's yeah. why I, I remember, uh, like when you said, like uh, uh, you were walking around. Yeah, <laughs> kind of did the same thing. Same thing. Uh, same thing. Yeah, same thing. And no, then you have to try to uh, find the words. Yeah, you know? these things are difficult, like decisions, mm -hmm. you know, to make, and um, you just hope on both sides it works out, mm -hmm. you know, like well. That that always is my prayer, you know, like that you treat people well in this business, you know, like, and I can honestly, like, walk with my head high, you know, like mm -hmm. I say, you know, every single person, you know, like, I've dealt with, you know, like, players, you know, like, you've treated them the best possible way that you can, and you're honest. Even if the conversation is a tough one, you know, like, figure out the courage, figure out the way to be, you know, like, to be honest and direct, and, you know, um, 
live with the tough times, live with walking around the hotel <laughs> for two hours. <laughs> you have to live That's with right, it. Yeah, you yeah, have to live with sure. it, man. You know, for sure. figure That's it out. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. It's, mm -hmm. it's tough. It's tough. That's tough yeah. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think, uh, like, the, the level of the NBA and the way it is, the game, and the EuroLeague? Yes. Like, like, do you think it's starting to be pretty close? Like, when you watch an NBA game and once you watch a EuroLeague game, you think it's far? You know, unfortunately for me, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't, I, I, I'm not as, um, I, I don't have as much knowledge of the Euro League in terms of like mm -hmm. really like watching the games because we tend to follow. It's like when they ask me about college basketball, they say like, what do you, yeah, I go, I, I'm watching like players, mm -hmm. you know, like, so we focus a lot on, on players and yes I watch the game I know what the trends are you know like but from everything I've watched and seen um, being in this business I see everything just growing mm -hmm. and I see now everybody having the courage to actually like project innovate be bigger be more dynamic you know like on how you look at things you know like openly mm -hmm. and if these leagues do that is the same thing we see in Africa we see with Baal, you continue to grow, you never know where this is going to go. Yeah, but the advantage of Europe here is it's just been too long that you've had grown players like Tony Parker coming up, you know, like there's a system that feeds the Lithuanians, the Serbians, the French, you know, like all these places. Now you cannot like turn your eye away on a player because because of that phone, yes, that phone. My son is seven years old. He did not learn a step back from anybody teaching him. He learned watching, from seeing, watching it. Watching, yeah. you, you know what I mean? We didn't have that. No, mm -hmm. no we didn't. We didn't, yeah, we saw Michael Jordan on yeah. VH, VHS, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. you know, like... And and it's difficult to copy the, 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 the jump of uh, Michael Jordan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly, you know, like, but now, you know, like, what players can see, what young kids can see, you know, I, it's, it's, it's incredible. So I see these leagues all, like, like developing, you know, like I'm becoming, you know, um, better. Mm -hmm. I'm not... I don't know much about like the politics involved, you know, like here, you yeah. know, like I haven't studied the dynamic, you know, like, but um, these, these are leagues and these are traditions that are very well respected around the world. I don't know if you're allowed to talk about the players, but the, what do you think about the, the French talent? It looks like we're going to have another two yeah. French guys three, in maybe. the top three, uh, three yeah, maybe. maybe three in the draft uh, next year. We're going to have to sell this place for you to pay my fine. For yeah. <laughs> so, so we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's okay. He's read a lot. No. Huh? No. I'm, I'm going to charge I'm going to charge you guys after I this. I don't want you to get fined. So yeah. If we can no, talk about it. We'll lot, talk lots about of it. lots of young players I can tr I can talk about it like overall, you know, uh, I'm actually going to lunch with Adam. Uh, after this, so mm -hmm. I'll tell Adam that just prepare, <laughs> please, because I'm about to get. <laughs> just but put I, it a I, little I bit see, lower. I think Adam is already doing fine for Tristan Thompson <laughs> fighting yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I, I know from from yesterday. Yeah, but that was good though because they always. No, nah, but they always complain that those games is yeah. like an all-star game and they're yes. not playing hard. At least they were no, playing hard. They were, they were trying to win. They were competing. So yeah. when you're going to compete, sometimes I know you get a little fight. No, very like lots of young players. You cannot look away now. Yeah, you cannot. Yeah, there's no way you can go anywhere and say, you know, like you discredit somebody or say, you know, like, hey, this guy is not good enough or he doesn't play in a big enough league or he doesn't, you know, like, um, yeah, they're all, there's, there's some way, you know, like a talent, you know, like shows up and you have to, you have to pay attention to it. Yeah. Before going to play a uh, pool, um, one quick question: Did you ever think, uh, as a GM, to trade uh, to make up a trade for TP? <laughs> I did not know about that question. Every so, every I time, ev every time you 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 call San Antonio, <laughs> it's, it's not it's not happening. So we don't so, even. So you call. We don't even we don't even bother calling. You can <laughs> you can't even you can't you can't you can't call because he's a. Uh, 
He's a, you know, when we always say, you know, like, uh, un, untouchable. Yeah, untouchable. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> untouchable. San, San Antonio didn't make a lot of trades. In. Untouchable. The, the yeah, they don't, they don't, they don't, make, don't a lot of trades they don't make, they don't make very many, you know, like, that's why they are very good, you know, like, but yes. Untouchable un, 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 Untouchable. <laughs> Maybe I can sign you now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little bit old now. A little bit old. Let's go so play. Go. Yeah, let's go play. Come on. Let's go yeah. play a little bit. I don't know you how play, to you do play, this. You play some pool? I don't play pool, man. So you guys are going to have to show me how to do this. Uh, um, mm? Masai, you know there is a, um, uh, a race for the, rookie, uh, for the rookie of the year between Victor and uh, Chet Holmgren? Yes. In my opinion, I'm, I'm not... I'm not using the word cheating, but spending one year already for Chetel Graham during the, in the franchise, yes. learning uh, how Mark Denio, the coach, is making uh, make his team playing, mm -hmm. he got a big big advantage yeah. uh, on Victor. You agree about that? I, you know, it's 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 again, you know, like talking about other teams' players yeah. is gonna be tough, know. you know, like here. But I, I will I will say this, you know, like I'm I'm so pumped up that we have like that kind of talent. Yeah, it's yeah, great. You, yeah, it's, it's great it, for the league. It's great for the league, you know, like for us to be talking about this and talking about two players that actually have that like dynamic, mm -hmm. you know, like they're both incredibly dynamic players, you know, for, like. For me, for me, know. they're like the, the prototype of uh, uh, the new generation or how the player is going to be. And what you talked about, that the court is going to need to be bigger. Yes. <laughs> if you have five guys like this. No. It's going to be tough. Yeah, imagine be tough. a couple of those guys being on the same team. On the same team. Yeah, yeah no, like for it's, sure. It's, it's a lot it's of space. Crazy. I'm sorry, I'm very good. No, I see. You told me you were not. <laughs> and now, now that I can see you, you are. Hey, tell us about your foundation, Giants, Giants of Africa. And now, you know, 20 years ago, I got the opportunity to, um, I thought how I came to America, you know, mm -hmm. like there's so many talented, like young kids, bigger, smarter, you know, like better. Um, how do we, how, how, how do I give back in some kind of way? So I decided to go and start doing basketball camps, you know, like on the, on the, on the continent. And then um, it just started to get bigger because I, I was the director of Basketball Without Borders with Amadou, mm -hmm. and we're doing this in South Africa and bringing kids from all over. And I said, I want to bring this to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Let me see how we can do this in Nigeria. So I brought it to Nigeria and it started like developing and becoming bigger and bigger. And we had a big man camp and all the things we see, you know, like, mm -hmm. and then I just started thinking about taking it all over, you know, like Africa, because one time I came to Nigeria and I got shut out, shut out of the gym. They yeah. were using the oh, gym wow. for church. Oh, okay. Yes, oh, yes. Okay. So they didn't let me use the gym and I was mad. And I said, okay, I you know what? Something. I have to go to my mom's country. My mom is from Kenya. Okay. Yeah, okay. so I went to Kenya, you know, and did the, and I saw how receptive it was, you know, like, so now I started going to other countries on the continent. Then I thought, okay, you know, um, you, Teach these kids life skills, you know, mm -hmm. like be on time, be honest, mm -hmm. treat women well, mm -hmm. treat me women well. And I start preaching to these kids, your mom, your sister, your girlfriend, your wife, mm -hmm. how do you treat them? But for me to even evolve more, I said, I'm going to bring girls, do a girls camp too. Oh, you know, yeah, like, and you, and you bring them side by side. Yes. They wear the same shoes, they wear everything. Yeah. And... Now it develops into a boys' camp and a girls' camp. Then we started to build basketball courts. Then we started to go into communities, you know, like, and then we made a commitment. So I have to do what now? You have to play with the white one. Yes. And you have to try to put any of the color one any, anywhere you want. OK. This is your first time you play? No. Uh, maybe second. Oh. I've, I've never played this before. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, honestly, it's one sport that I've never ever played. Okay. So let me see here. So I have to, I have to hit which one? The, the, the one you want. The, the blue. No, which is the most valuable one that I should hit? I, I, the, the biggest one is 15 points. 15? Yeah. yeah. But this one's going to be tough to make, though. I know. So tough. let me just try this one. If you make it, I pay the fine for you. <laughs> Not oh, bad, not oh, bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad. Now, so I started to develop this. For me, when it went from camps to teaching them skills and coaching and all of that, 
it became a lot of life skills, mm -hmm. you know, like what you are really teaching like these kids and how to be, because how many of them are going to be Tony Parker? How many of them are going to be Joel Embiid? Mm -hmm. It's very, very few. few. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but many of them come, and many of them can have be a, me. A job. Yeah. But yeah, it can, can be you. Do. Yes, can come and do this. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah there's, sure. there's a different part of sports that is building now that mm -hmm. uh, they can become. And then we made a commitment to build 100 courts on the continent. Ah, nice. Yes, and nice. we're at 31 now, I think. Uh, and um, we're building really nice outdoor courts, fencing them, you know, like putting the infrastructure so um, there are leagues, there are camps, there's women programs, there's community programs run in the schools or on the courts, you know, like mm, that, nice. uh, that we build. And now I'm going into like thinking about like arenas, you know, like and how um, we lack arenas on the continent and the reason Kigali and Senegal are doing so well is because they have those two arenas mm -hmm. near there, but we need, we need those. So um, Giants of Africa has really, um, honestly, has given me an incredible opportunity because when you do things with youth, they are tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are, they are what's going to take over everything that um, we're doing, and that's, that's really fulfilling for me. I wouldn't even go into... Um, so Chine just had her wedding. Mm -hmm. She married a Giant of Africa kid. He was in Giants of Africa from 12 years ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, Ralph. And he came to school in the States. And he played in Miami, played basketball. He's a boxer and an engineer now. She just got married to him. I went to go to his wedding, yeah. to go to their wedding in wow. Houston. There was about 37 Giants of Africa kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. at the wedding, attending the wedding, that have come to the States, gone to school. Seven of his best men were Giants of Africa kids. Oh, yeah, nice. and so, and, wow. and it was really fulfilling to see. They've moved to the States, they don't play basketball anymore, they do have their business, they're doing different things, you know, like, uh, it's, it, it's incredible. So it's really grown, you know, like, and Super proud, you know, like that we can do something like this. Super proud of Amadou, of all these guys that really doing stuff in Africa, you know, like it's amazing. Yeah, it's a great story. Great story. To, to grow great the game. Story. Good job, Masai. So you're going to hit. Are you, good, are, you, are you good at this? No. Not you're not? Good at all. Not good at all. No. No. I can so hit, where do I, I go hit. now? Which one do I go? Same white? <clears throat> yeah, you always yeah. stop with you the white one, hit the and, white you, one you and you pick a, and you pick a ball. That Why you is that 15 play? one? 15 is this right yeah, here? So I stuck. Can, it's it's stuck. Yeah. Who put it there? You or you? Uh, he <laughs> did. Because you break. You break. No, I think you can try to hit the blue to try to go there. And that's what I'm going to try shot. here. Masai, do you think Team USA is in trouble uh, this summer for Olympics? <laughs> Again? <laughs> I'm trying to get U.S. players, and you're trying to get me in trouble here. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're really going to have to play the big final. Yeah, I know. I don't you know sure I you want to spend all afford, your salary? I don't know if I can. It I might, think, be, it I might think... be the salary of the year for you. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I think they have. I, I. I think now everybody's eyes is open around the world. You yeah. know, like, and there's there's no more. It's it's just life. There's no more fear. Yeah. Yeah, true. I, yes. But, I just, but, but I'm, I'm Messi just failed in the, in the World Cup, so they might bring all the, the big... The, but I was just going to say that what, to, what, what, to, what makes me happy is what's happened in the World Cup is, is to make sure that they bring all the best players yeah, for yeah. USA. So that's good, because yeah. it's good for basketball. So then I agree with you that I think the Olympics next year yes. is going to be amazing. No, it's going I to think, be... I think everybody's going to come. It's going to be amazing. Mm, it's going to be amazing. I forgot in the summer, I came to my office, I forgot that... Um, Canada basketball was practicing in our facility. Ah, okay. Yeah, with the Raptors yeah. facility. Mm -hmm. That's where they practiced mm -hmm. before they went to the World Cup. Mm -hmm. And I come into my office and there's, it's all um, blind, so you can't see the court. Mm -hmm. So I go into my office door and then I open the door. The door opens up into the court. Okay. Yeah. I open my door and it's Shea Gilchrist, yeah. Dylan Brooks, yeah. and uh, RJ and, Nickel, Nickel, and, 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 and no and um, Jamal, Jamal. Yeah. 
they were all talking right in front of my door. <laughs> and, I, and I opened it and I was like, and it's red everywhere. And the atmosphere and the way it was, and Jordy, the way he, you could tell that they had, you know, like, they're yeah, they're, they're preparing to do yeah. something, you know, like they feel good about themselves. And then when you start to get small results here, yeah, yeah it, gives you confidence. it starts yeah, to give sure. you confidence. Sure. Now guys think, you know, like, yeah, and that's, and it's one game, you know, like it's not, 82 game season yeah yeah, yeah for sure yeah that's okay. what makes the in-season tournament like kind of exciting because mm -hmm. it's like one it's like the, the um, i thought that was pretty good yeah in season yeah. yeah i like it, it. Good. Uh, i like, I like it, it yeah no it's because it got... makes it makes the guys you yeah. know play hard like, yeah and and the, I like the way the pacers took, took the seriously the the, the, the tournament I like yeah it. everybody took it yeah, seriously yeah. you know like and i think it's even going to grow more yeah, because it's yeah it's something different Mm -hmm. You know, like, and I, I think I was really impressed by how serious and important, like, the players really took it. And Adam has done an incredible job, yeah. you know, like, yeah, with sure. doing yeah. innovation that way, you know. Do you have uh, other sports that you follow? Do you, like, watch uh, other sports to help you then watch basketball differently? Uh, I'm a, I'm a big-time, big-time football fan, soccer. Soccer? Yes, yeah, okay. like, I, I, who's, follow, who's your I follow it, like... So, this is a long story. I'm a Manchester United guy. Okay. Ah. Yeah, but then I went to, when I went to Denver, my owner, the owners, the Cronkies, uh, they own Liverpool. Arsenal. Liverpool? Arsenal. 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 Ah, no, 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 Arsenal. Arsenal. That's right, Arsenal. Oh, okay. That's right, Arsenal. Yes. Yeah, that's right. So you changed your mind? Um, yeah. No, so, <laughs> I changed my mind publicly. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but in my heart. <laughs> yeah. but, but in my heart, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, but um, I'm just a fan of, you know, like how dynamic that game is and that sport, you know, like is, is I study all the, like a lot of sports, you know, like whether it's um, American football or hockey and you study how it's managed, you know, like, and um, we visit a lot of other teams, other sports, facilities, yes, facilities, facilities like that, yeah. and things and how you, it's the only way you can get better. Yeah, yeah you have to, you, you, yeah, it's the only way you can improve and, um, some some things that other businesses are doing even outside of sports, you know, like um, it's it's amazing. Look at Bob Myers, you know, like yeah, he's, he's a fan now. <laughs> yeah, he, I mean, he's consulting, you know, like to something, but it's expanding your mind to like mm -hmm. yeah, to all the different things that um, you can do, and that's that's one thing I say about sports, you know, you know, it's it's very dynamic. Um, it brings people together. And it brings peace. You know, every, everywhere you bring sports, any time you walk in in the name oh, of sports. Oh, sometimes in hmm? France, uh, it's, not <laughs> it's not peace. Huh? Yeah. It's, uh, no, but it brings people together. And it brings he, people together. Yes, yeah. and yeah, you know what I mean. It's in, yeah. There's rivalry, there's competition, and sometimes we get, you know, like we can get aggressive, you know, like, but there's just something about it, you know, and now people are seeing the business side of it that's. Mm. That's just incredible. Yeah, um, I agree. Hey, mm -hmm. We didn't talk about uh, what kind of player was uh, Masai Ujiri because he was playing basketball. Sure, what kind sure. of player? Who are man? If you have to wait every year till September one for your agent to call you, <laughs> I have a for deal for you. <laughs> That's it funny. You weren't that good. I like the way you put it. That was funny. That's it. I was wondering where you're gonna go with that. That was funny. Yeah. That's no, not a good sign. No, no, that's not a good. That's not a good sign. I'm telling. It wasn't. A, it wasn't. Yeah. You played Belgium. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, I played second division in Belgium. I played in England in the in the top league. You know, like I knew travel you. Come go play in Finland. You play for one month here. I was that kind of a play. Okay. Yeah, like I, that. There wasn't. There was no future. Mm -hmm. You know, like in it. And I could. I could tell. I'm just happy that I kept a black book. You know, like and the black book was the contacts. Yeah. You know, like mm -hmm. of all those people. Yeah. And create I create your network. It, and yeah, yeah, create a yeah. network, mm -hmm. and then I took a liking to like, you know, when you're your team plays and the junior team plays the game before, yeah. I would be the one that would always watch. watch. Okay. Yeah, and, and coaching the Nigerian junior national team in two, uh, 2002 gave me the opportunity to think bigger than playing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and think of the game differently. And 
I didn't want to follow like coaching. So scouting, you know, like came to came to my mind. So to your question, no scout would have watched me. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody would so have. So you knew you knew right away that you were more front office than uh, than coach. Yes. Yeah, I I I I knew that. I I have a passion for how the game is played, you know, like but how you put a team together, how you manage people, you know, like um, help people more, you know, create more opportunity for um, uh, for workers, you know, like and bring people along, you know, like alongside and then winning. Yeah, you know better than anybody. But yeah, maybe. sports is about winning. Yeah, yeah. Sure. there's nothing else, you know, like, that matters, yeah. yeah, there's nothing else that matters in sports. It's about winning. Yeah, if you're not winning, you're not relevant. You know, like, and you must find a way to win. Yeah, that, that for me, that's what drives me like the most. You know, like, I love the relationships and we can hug and kiss and say hellos and all that. But, you know, when you go on that court, yeah, there's something about winning, you know, like that. Um, it's just incredible. And you experienced it. I'm lucky that experienced it a little bit, you know, like, uh, nothing drives us, and that, 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 that's the best feeling. It's the best feeling. For sure. That's yeah. right. You're not going to win, but give us the last one. Yeah, so I'll give the last one. You know what? You know, let's move. You know what? I'm going to give you ah, like, oh, okay. a clear okay. shot. Let's do it like this. Okay. Yeah. He's going to try yeah. to hit 15. Oh. There you go, sir. Let's see. There Whoa! You go. We'll finish on this. There you go. There you go. Sports is about winning, <laughs> baby. About winning. That's what we talk about. It's about winning. <laughs> it's like the world of pain. Oh, this is awesome, man. <laughs>